Good morning. This is Margaret Fetty at the University of Sewing and this is Facebook Live. And we're on air. <laughs> Dave has a very unique understanding of what we need marketing wise. So he thinks that this will help us get more people to watch and I hope he's right. I think he's silly personally. But we've got packages ready to go out the door. We are shipping all over the country. This one's going to California, and we are so happy that you are here with us today. Um, you remember yesterday, if you were on here yesterday, you remember I couldn't find the the uh, the gift I we share, whenever you guys share, I always give something away. Well, this was under the sample I was working on. <laughs> I couldn't find it anywhere. So this is what we're gonna give away today. It's called Rose and Bloom. It's a really cute pattern book and it has some really lovely things in it um there we go that's that's like a lot of them pretty colors very cute ideas and you are set and ready to go here and i've got an idea for this if you like it um we've got some wonderful fabrics to show you today and i'm really really excited about them because um this is a little too sweet for my taste I would probably use the Gasleys on this. So wait till you see what we've got for you in store with this. So for those of you who are new, every Facebook Live, we give away a, something to people who have shared. And what the deal is, is that it, when you hit the share button on Facebook, go in the comments and note that you shared and your name goes into a drawing. And you mean like Kathy Neal? like Kathy Neal all the time. She's so funny. She is always so Johnny on the spot. She shares really fast. So we go ahead and put your name into a drawing. We pick out one of those names and then we um, message you on Facebook and let you know that you've won. If you are out of town, please let us know you're out of town. And like, I mean, we've got customers in California. We've got customers in uh, Oregon. So you know, if you're out of town, obviously, and you shared, we need to ship it to you. And so if you let us know to ship it to you, because some of my employees who do this, they don't know if you're from out of town or if you're in town. So if you've won something, you haven't received it yet. The reason you haven't received is probably because you didn't ask us to ship it to you. So if you are in one of the outlying states, you're not here in Indiana, and you're not going to be by the shop in the near future, please make sure you let us know when you say thank you because you guys are always so good you always say thank you and we will make sure we get shipped to you so that is our giveaway for today i've got some housekeeping stuff to take care of today we want to make sure that all of you know that we are a part of the southern indiana shop hop and uh this shop hop is going to I'm going to say it starts in Bloomington because we're in Bloomington. But you can go down south from us, going down to Bedford, into Evansville, and then come back around and go to Brownstown. Or what you could do is stop, start in Bloomington and go to Brownstown and go this way to Edwardsville and then around. And all of those would be lots of fun. And there are some great shops. I've seen some pictures of some of them. I know I've been in two of them. Um, I need to do the shop hop. Uh, go on to the Facebook page for the shop hop and you'll get to see all the quilts. They're really beautiful. And um, you know what? I hadn't thought of it before, but during the shop hop, we will be, we'll have these pattern, uh, the blocks available for you to buy from us. After the shop hop, if you want to do this quilt and you like it and you want our block, I, we certainly can send you a block kit. So that's that's easy. So, but you'll have to let us know because that's not something that you purchase on our website. So let us know if that's something you want to do. We have a finishing kit for it um, and we're ready to go. So our quilt is also on the Facebook page for the Shop Hop. So go there and look at all of them. They're really pretty. They've there are some people out there that are really talented. Um, very, very gorgeous stuff. So I think um, this could have been very blah because the colors are silver and white and uh, black. And it could have just been really blah, but it's not. Um, I'm gonna go over and get our block.
here's our block. I think it turned out really pretty. This is rubber Kaufman sheen fabric and then just a white and black. So they're really beautiful. So um, some of the people used pink as their kind of combining color. We actually used um, what was called amber gold from the same shine collection. And then we used a Robert Kaufman ombre with it. So go and look at that Facebook page when we're done here today so that you can see that. Other thing I need to tell you before we go is I don't want you to forget we're having a really nice sale right now and it only lasts two weeks. This is over with on the end of June. And what you can do is get 10% uh, off of any mach Bernina machine that is over $2,000. So $200 off the ones between two and three thousand three hundred off the three thousand to four thousand and on like that and this is for any of our machines so if you've been kind of waiting and thinking and wondering if you should do this there's some really great 48 and 60 months zero same as cash and there's some great door busters we've got the wonderful little b uh b05 academy great little mechanical machine comes with 13 feet two different tables they're only 349 great idea for a gift do you have someone's birthday coming up maybe a graduation gift maybe they're graduating later maybe you didn't get them yet something yet boy wouldn't that be a nice present then we've got the b37 um, it is only 449 and the 77 which is a really cool machine because it's got the same beautiful uh, screen on it that you see on the Berninas so you can just touch screen everything go through and do all of your sewing again a really great entry-level machine um, for the person who's maybe not got the budget for a Bernina right now and that machine's normally two thousand dollars and it is only twelve ninety nine which is seven hundred dollars savings so that's awesome okay guys I have some really cool fabric for you. We got to say thank you to Mariana and Tony. They both shared. Thank you, guys. You're so sweet. I love you guys. Um, Tony, you've got some winnings here, so you're going to have to come and see me. I miss you. So um, I have just gotten these couple of patterns. One is called Diamond Dance, and the other one is called Garden Delights. Um, the Diamond Dance is a paper piece pattern. The other one, I don't. It's, well, it's applique. So, however you like doing your applique. We've got the steam seam light if you like to do applique with the raw edge. So, these two patterns were designed specifically in mind with our Bliss fabric from Northcott. And while you could certainly use that, and I've got a piece of Bliss so that you guys can remember what it looks like. Look how pretty this is. It's a beautiful fabric, and we've got it in lots of different colors, and see, they used it right here. So that's, it's really gorgeous, but you know what? This would work with a lot of different fabrics. It would work with palette with Marsha Durst. It would work with just solids. There's a lot of variety you could use with this. So if you like these patterns, oh, I'm gonna turn around Diamond Dance, because that picture on the front doesn't do it justice. Is that, is there's too much glare? Do I need to take it out of the package? Okay, all right. So that is a really cool pattern. They show it in greens and they show it in purples. Now we may not have every single one of these colors yet because we're still waiting on more Bliss from Northcott. As we get all of them in, we will make some kits for you. But I wanted you to see these patterns because they're really cute and I didn't get a lot of them. So if you're interested in those, it's a good time to purchase those. Um, we got some more stuff from Northcott and I can't wait to show it to you because it's really cool. Um, we got some Halloween fabric. We and I, So I'm gonna start off with Halloween fabric and then I'm gonna end up with Christmas. So I know this sounds really weird, but actually when you see all these, you'll see they can work for a lot of different things. They don't. The one Halloween is very Halloween, but the other one has a little bit more of a fall feel to it. So we're gonna start off with the fall one. We're gonna to go to the Halloween and then we're gonna to go to Christmas. And remember in July, the whole month of July, if you look at our calendar, the whole month of July is Christmas in July around here. So we run all kinds of sales and all kinds of fun stuff, but 
before that sale gets going, remember that right now, if you go on to our clearance area, that's our on sale area in our website, you will see everything in there and it's all 40% off. We have got to make some room. We're getting all kinds of lines coming here from Northcott, from QT Fabrics, from RJR. We've got all kinds of stuff coming in and I have to have some room for it. So we got to get this clearance stuff out of here. So go on to the clearance section and get some great deals. It's really, it's the best time to do this. Oh, before I move, I got to show you Tilda. I forgot about Tilda. We said we were going to show you about Tilda, but I forgot. So right here is the Chic Escape line from Tilda. And this stuff is so cute. It looks very English to me. Um, beautiful flowers, these wonderful patterns with the birds. Um, we've got all kinds of beautiful colors in here. Um, these are little birds and big flowers and little flowers. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Look at how pretty that is. So it's really beautiful. That book that I just showed you that we're giving away, the tilde would be gorgeous out of that. We've got this wonderful line of uh, basics from Tilda. These are their classics fat quarter bundle. We've got another from the, this one is from the Daisy Field line. And what's really cool about Tilda is I feel like all of them can go together with each other. They are really beautiful. Here's a chic escape. Look at those together. See, they, they really do work. So if you wanted to put something together, oh, and look at the chambray dots. So we've got a fat quarter bundles of chambray dots, the daisies. We've got the, the, uh, the jelly roll of the escape, uh, chic escape. And then we've got a tiny little group of fat quarters that's kind of in the greens in that uh, Chic Escape. And I'm just gonna tell you the reason I'm not showing you any other colors in this, they've already sold. We only got them last week and they're just gone. So if you like these, you probably should purchase them sooner rather than later. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go over here. No, I'm not, I'm gonna have to stay over on this side. We're gonna start off with Northcott. And I'm gonna unroll these because they look much prettier when they're unrolled. Check out these pumpkins. <laughs> so, Thanksgiving, autumn, fall, we've got you covered, but these look very Halloween-y too. So, we've got that particular fabric, then we have this wonderful one to go with it. And these are so much fun. And then, of course, you have to have your blenders to go with this if you're going to make something. And so we've got this really pretty kind of lacy looking leaf pattern. And that's with the white background. Now we have the one to go with it, which is the black background. And if anybody wants, we can cut you a fat quarter bundle out of this. So if that's all you want is just a fat quarter bundle, you can do that. And last but not least is this great polka dot. I love this little crackled look in the fact that the orange in the background is not a single color. It's, it's definitely modeled. Very, very beautiful. So your first fall project, you've got the fabrics to do this. So really beautiful. Very great fabrics. I think you're gonna really enjoy it. Um, again, we can do a fat quarter bundle or a half yard bundle, or you know, you can get them in any way you want. So all you have to do is let us know. We will make a fat quarter bundle of this. We usually get to that. Um, I might be able to do it today. We'll see. We've been kind of busy getting ready for shop hop. So we'll see, we're, we're getting signs put up for the shop hop. We've got all kinds of really fun stuff going on. So we've got to do that. Um, my, my focus today has, yesterday I cleaned up a whole bunch of the tables and made everything look really, um, trying to get it all cleaned up and look real pretty for the shop hop. But now- Plus you had to unload the trailer from going to a You did have to unload the trailer from going to a -lytic. Okay. So this next line is Halloween. It's just plain Halloween. It's for Michael Miller and it is hysterical. Um, 
I love this. I can see making any kid I know something out of these fabrics and they're gonna love them because this cat is a riot. Um, and we have several fabrics with the cap being very silly and very cute. We have a stripe to go with it. So we've got this wonderful stripe. And we have this, check out these bats. Now normally bats are scary. There's nothing scary about those bats. <laughs> those bats are kind of cute and adorable. So we have the bats and we have them in that beautiful yellow and we have them in this wonderful gray. And what was really fun about this is they added to a line we already had. So what we already had was we had this fabulous border print. Maybe you need a skirt out of this, guys. <laughs> or maybe you just wanna make a tablecloth because it would be so cute. So, of course, the border's on both sides, so you can, as you open it up, we've got the cats on either end, so it would make a great tablecloth. Go tell them they can come in. Oh, okay. Right. We've got our, our... Excuse me for just yeah, a second, guys. We've got to let somebody in there passing through. This cute fabric with the cats on it. It's a great border print. You can go ahead and use it for a tablecloth, like I said, or a table runner. It's not a big deal. Um, this would turn out really cute doing that. Then we've got the gray cats on here that would just look really super cute. And to finish it off, everybody needs some cute, adorable uh, cobwebs. So, um, I really like this line. Uh, sometimes Halloween fabric is it's just not that fun. This is really fun. And I think that if you've got some kids in your life, you've got some sort of event you like to do around Halloween, maybe you just need, um, at your neighborhood, they come and get candy and you wanna do something for uh, your table outside while you're handing out candy, wouldn't that be fabulous? Um, and I mean, this is just, I can just see this being made into fun little bags for trick or treaters. Um, or you can make this into a really cute little kid's outfit out of this. So, um, speaking of which, I have three granddaughters, and so maybe I'm going to need to do something with this fabric just for them. So, I think it'll be a lot of fun. All right, so we've gotten taken care of Autumn. We've gotten taken care of our Halloween. Now we're gonna go to Christmas. And well, it's kind of a combo. It's not just Christmas. So we had the Gasly's line and I think I showed you some pieces we recently got in, but we got the Gasly's Christmas. So. You can go to the other side, Margaret, okay. it's okay. All right, so. I'm going to start off putting out, I think we already showed you these last week. We had these beautiful florals. So these are the florals to go with the Gasly line. But now they've also got this really pretty floral. So these are our blenders. Oh, I forgot about the green. Okay. The other one that we got in that I don't think we had when you, I saw you last Saturday is I don't think we had this one. And this tree pattern is gorgeous. And I don't care if you want to use it with the gas leaves or not, but this fabric is so pretty. So I think this is a really great piece right there. Now, how does this all work? Well, for starters, we got back in the Gasly's Craft fabric. Now, we had this one about two and a half years ago, and they finally reprinted it. And there she is. Can you get her? She's so funny. Is this you when you saw? 
<laughs> do we get all a little crazy sometimes when we're sewing? We've got this wonderful gentleman over here knitting. We've got the person here underneath the dress form. We've got our little crazy, like Alice in Wonderland character. This is a really fun group of fabric, guys. Um, so we've got that. And I think I told you guys before what I want to do with this is I think in making a group of, uh, of garment bags would be just fabulous. And I have this really cool, very simple get pattern to do that. And I'm going to have to share that with you guys. i got to find it and share it with you because it's simple. And we all like our stuff to be a little more simple these days. Uh, there's only so much time in the universe. So then we have the traveling fabric. Oh, this has got to be put the other way or else it doesn't make any sense. I'm going to pull these guys forward just a little bit and see if we can't put her down there. There we go. So we have the traveling fabric. And this is really fun. It's got the biplane. It's got the little trapeze actor on it. But on the other side, we've got our crazy lady who likes to sew. She's back. So she's right there. And they have these wonderful big daisies all over the fabric, which I think is fabulous. But see, here's that wonderful floral that I was showing you. And there's the trees. We have a crazy guy in a steam engine right there. So that's really fun. And then we have some traveling fabric to go with this. So even if you're not a Gasly's fan, this might appeal to you. This is really beautiful. It has this Paris and Cairo and all these wonderful fun things. And then, just to take and finish it off, the Gasleys have a Christmas panel. Or I shouldn't say panel, it's fabric yardage. And so what we're gonna do is show you that. And I love this because check out the dresses. The dresses are phenomenal. It says Christmas across it, just in case you get confused. But look at all this, the trees and the different Christmas ornaments and the crazy people and how they're all dressed and how much fun is that. And then see, these are those other patterns of the florals we've got. So all the colors, everything all goes together. It looks really fun. And I just think that this is a really interesting and wonderful fun line. Um, again, I think what we might do with this is, uh, we may put the florals and so forth together as a fat quarter bundle, and then maybe make a bigger piece with these pieces that have the really interesting people going on in them. So um, I'm interested to hear what you guys think as far as how you would like to see them, if you want them pre-cut, or would you just think it's better we just cut yardage of them? And I'm happy to do either one, because um, it's all about you. <laughs> so I have a lot of fun with you guys. And you always come up with interesting and fun ideas for me and you always suggest stuff that I enjoy. So I want you to know that we do listen to you. Um, okay, so let's talk about what's coming up here. Next week, we have Shop Hop and Shop Hop will be going on both Friday and Saturday. So our, probably our Facebook Lives are not gonna be very long unless we're not very busy. If we're not very busy, I'm going to be hooting and hollering and asking you guys to come and see me. <laughs> so I think that we'll be fine. I think it'll be busy. From everybody I've talked to, they said that it is really usually very, very busy for Shop Hop. So, and we're going to try to keep things comfortable. The air conditioner will be turned on. We got ice water. Right. We're going to have ice water here. You know, they're, they're talking it's going to be kind of hot. So... We're going to do the AC is going to be cranked up. We're going to make sure that we've got ice water handy. Um, and we're going to have snacks here so that when you come in, hopefully this will be a comfortable environment. I'm going to try and make everything just, um, you know, our shop is, we're really lucky. We have 4,000 square feet. And so there isn't really a reason for it to feel too crowded. 
but we're going to look at rearranging things just a little bit to make sure that what we do is make it where people can walk through here comfortably. Um, Wednesday morning, we're supposed to have a group of quilters coming in from Ohio. I'm really excited and anxious to meet them. So we'll be welcoming the Quilt Guild from Hamilton County, Ohio. So that'll be really fun. Um, so I, if you're getting put together your whole little uh, adventure for Facebook, or excuse me, for the Shop Hop, um, if you're here on Friday and Saturday, you can even wave and say hello at, at the, uh, during our Facebook Live. So everybody have a wonderful Saturday. It's gorgeous today. By the way, if you are in Bloomington, it's supposed to just be 80 degrees today, not super hot or nasty. It's going to be really nice, so you will enjoy your day. Um, it's going to be a great day to go out to the farmer markets. Um, you can go and join us here. We're here. Caitlin and I are working today, so we'll look forward to seeing you. And then next week, it's going to be chaos because of the shop hop, and we hope you're part of that. Um, we will see you next Friday on Facebook Live, and I hope you have a great day.